What was once an iconic facility of the print news industry in Canada is now home to the country's largest data center. My name is Mandy Kovacs and welcome to All Hands on Tech. I had a chance to tour Digital Realty's new data center, which has taken over the old Toronto Star printing plant at One Century Place in Vaughan, Ontario. Now called Tor 1, the building is more than 700,000 square feet, which dwarfs its closest competitor. But size isn't the only reason the old printing plant is perfect for data center activities. First of all, it's big. Um, it's got plenty of room to grow. It has everything from concrete floors, which make it easy to bring in IT infrastructure that can often be as heavy as a small car. Um, it's access to power. There's a substation right next door, which was used part of the front facility, so highly accessible to the power we needed to supply for our critical infrastructure. And last one is access to critical network facilities. And so in this particular facility, we have access to multiple providers and fiber routes, which are right outside the door, and then building dark fiber access to local aggregation points, in this case, um, you know, highly connected data centers that are just down the street. It's been a unique opportunity to, to uh, retrofit um, a print factory uh, into a data center and so you know we have completed our first phase our first phase was actually the original mail room which to some degree was a bit of a blank slate wide open space which allowed us to easily partition out the necessary infrastructure walls and and power supplies for our customers the facility has 23 computer rooms with as much as three megawatts of power capacity per room it also boasts 50,000 square feet of co-location space. While there are currently no tenants in the building, its grand opening on June 21st shows that people have bought into the idea of data centers. The computer room sits empty for now because the company wants to see what its customers will need before installing equipment. Digital Realty anticipates that cloud service providers looking for wholesale data center space will be the key customers of Tor1, taking up as much as a quarter of the building. There will also be plenty of retail data center space available to businesses who run their own infrastructure. There's over 15,000 technology companies in the Toronto market, right? So, I mean, that's, that's quite vast. That gives us, you know, that market opportunity exists not only for us to talk to those individual enterprises as potential consumers, but also the base of customers who operate out of this facility who are targeting those technology companies. It's a, it's, a, it's a strong macro environment for all of us. And it's no secret that data centers are incredibly resource intensive, but Tor1 is employing a number of innovative ways to reduce its environmental footprint. We are designing the power supplies so that we're modular, we can deploy power incrementally as customers come in, as their customer base and utilization grows. Everything from how we cool the facility, we use outside air, which we're not using critical resources such as water uh, in the cooling process. That allows the facility to be highly energy efficient. We're able to pass that efficiency markers back to our customers and then they're able to pass it on to their customers as a signal to the market that we really care about the resource utilization in the, in, as we deliver service to our customers. Tor1 also has a large generator that can power the facility for more than 48 hours if there's ever an electricity outage. It can also be used during peak energy times to reduce costs. And we can't forget about security either. The building itself features robust physical and virtual protection so that all of its contents stay safe. You'll find a combination of physical security, whether that is uh, perimeter fencing to, you know, the security desk, the check-in processes associated with granting access to man traps, which provide physical access into the facility, biometric scanners, badge readers, um, and on-site security personnel and guards. And so security is of paramount importance to our customers. Not, not just the economic value of the assets that they're putting in here, but the market relevance of the services that they provide means that they are exceedingly security conscious and we need to have the most rigorous cyber as well as physical security in order to meet those demanding needs. Now all Tor1 needs is its first tenant. Once again, for all hands on tech, I'm Mandy Kovacs. Thanks for watching.